Hello guys, thank you so much for the views and the positive comments you guys left me on my last video. It really made me feel good about myself. Now I'm confident that I can finally quit college and become a full-time league YouTuber. In today's video we are not gonna be playing support, but rather AD carry. What? Let me say I came here for quality support guides, not some AD carry BS, and I understand that. But as the best player this game has to offer, it would be unfair for me to share my wisdom on only one role. Guys, the last time I played AD Carry was back in 1996, or most commonly referred to as Season 5, when I played Old Grays before they decided, you know what, if it ain't broke, change it and made him a jungler. They absolutely destroyed my AD Carry dream and I never played the role again. But I'm over it now and in today's video we'll be playing the Queen of League of Legends, the only champion who wears gloves while being half naked. Ash. But before I show you the proper ways, let's see what other people are doing. Ah, <sighs> guys, I can't keep doing this. Why is this community so stupid? Picking a defensive item and heal is like already admitting defeat before even playing the game. I would never teach something like this. Instead, we're gonna be building items that show extreme confidence. Like these. Guys, this is a strategy I like to call the Kite Genius. And in order to kite, you need movement speed. And you get it from Gale Force, Wit Sand, Hurricane, Boots, a Plus Velocity, and most importantly, your Summoner spell. Because we're gonna be picking Ghost instead of Heal. Now, let's review her spells real quick. Ash W is called called a lot of arrows because she fires a lot of arrows. We're gonna be maxing this ability first. Her Q is called a lot of arrows but this time targeted properly and before you can use it you have to auto attack an enemy 4 times. Unbelievable riot. Guys, basically Ash is one of those champions who counter themselves. She has 2 damage dealing spells and you can't even use one of them half the time. She has no escape, her mother died, her clan got wiped out and she's overall holding that massive L. And now you might be asking, let me tell if Ash has so much wrong with her, why bother playing her? Because guys, there is certain beauty in all that misery. You see, playing Ash is an amazing thing. It's an experience. It's like creating a beautiful painting filled with deep emotion. But before you learn how to be the kite genius, you need to learn how to be the snipe genius using Ash's ultimate. You have to get inside of your enemy's little, little silver brain and predict their movements 10 minutes into the future. Examples. In this clip you see my team's fox woman 1v1ing the enemy Elise and she barely lives on 800 HP. I'm not having this. I ult and I pick up that cold hard cash. Boom, snipe 360. Vladimir, I assure you you will get this kill. Psych, misfortune running away. I ult and I hit her right in her ASH. God damn it, looks I only got an assist from that one. Like, what are you doing alone on the lane? I guess you're just passionate about losing. So, when you're missing your spells? Oh, that must be embarrassing. Guys, if you have any more questions about Ash, make sure to ask them in the comments below. How do you call it when you ult the enemy ADC and you get a kill? It's called bot diff, there is no joke there. Guys, if you play 5000 games of Ash like me, you will develop something called Ultra Instinct, where you ult one guy and hit another, just because you can't miss anymore. You think I'm kidding? Check out this clip. I'm ulting bot lane to assist my two supports, and the enemy Ash flashes just in time for my ult. Easy! Tips for beginners, always ult down mid lane, there is always someone there and it's impossible to miss. And if even after you hit someone, your team doesn't do anything, make sure to type the following. Alistair thinks I can't possibly hit him all the way from bot lane? No. Notice how nice people are when you hit your ultimate. Like this Blitzcrank for example. He was so kind and remained positive even though we were losing that game. For the Blitzcrank who just made my game better, I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow to my painting. Now after I've shown you how to hit your ult with 100% accuracy, it's time to actually become the Kai Genius. The bot diff is always present with the Kai Genius. The Kai Genius always plays with Ghost. The Kai Genius doesn't even need to use Ghost. Okay, let me still spill the beans. Why Ghost? Because guys, it gives you so much more benefits than heal. You think that I would have ever gotten that sweet, sweet, juicy double buff shutdown kill if I didn't have Ghost? Nope. You think I would have ever escaped the gang from the fastest champion if I wasn't the fastest champion? And on top of that kill him? I don't think so. You think I could have ever killed this Sindri if I didn't have Ghost? Mmm, wait for it. 
Absolutely not. Miss Fortune, where are you going? You can't escape because you're so slow. I'm getting ganked 1v2, but don't worry about me, guys. I just press ghost and make them regret ever playing this game. Oh, and Karma, make sure to flash on the way out. Difficult. Guys, 1v2 situations are common with the Kai Genius. I kill the support 1v1 like it's no big deal and I see a low health Sivio trying her hardest to get featured in my video. I chase her with Ghost, let her think she has a chance and finish her off. I didn't die by the way. Oh Pike, you think you're so sneaky trying to kill me 1v2? Oh <laughs> guys, I'm so sorry you have to see this, it's just embarrassing. They must have forgotten to... Read the name. You know me, dodge the spells, deal the damages, dodge the spells some more, disrespect dash into his ult and oh, Zeleth, make sure to flash on the way out. Gapped. As you can see guys, the guy genius doesn't need support. Notice how for the entire audio of this clip Trash sits AFK under a tower while I'm destroying this Nvidia 1v2 and barely survive to talk about it. Typical, normal day guy genius stuff right there. Also, Warwick comes and again I only survive because of Ghost. For the Trash, who honestly I don't know what to say, I'm gonna add a little bit of blue to my painting. Check out how outclassed this Vayne gets by my speed, pretty much gets so killed. Sorry Vayne, but you never stood a chance. Then we chase the rest of the bots and I pick up 16 kills. One thing you gotta know about the Kai Genius is that he doesn't care about stats. That's why just before the Penta I go execute myself just to show how much I don't care. <sighs> A fight is happening and he sniped the enemy AD carry from miles away. Ghost out of cannon's ultimate because I'm having none of this. Go back in, use all of my one spells and start killing foes. Guys, you are watching a master at work. I know I make it look easy, but I promise it's not. It takes years of practice. One last W on the Zoe and boom, job's done. And again, I didn't get the Penta, not because I couldn't, but because I didn't want to. Stupid ass Gragas. Guys, playing a different role made me open my eyes and widen my horizon. And I saw things that completely humbled me. Why? Why are some support players so horrible? They int your lane, they throw your game? But they're not all bad because I had the pleasure to meet the most same Brom player in all of EU. Guys, this Brom was speaking the forbidden language of a true League of Legends player. A language so powerful that even I can't use for more than 5 games in a row. So I'm gonna take the liberty and read it out loud. It all started when Zed and Brom both died in the jungle. You missed your cue. Assassin with spear? Shut the F up! Dog! Shut the F up! You missed your cue by the way. You are legit inting! English! You are playing without effing ignite! You swat! Go die Zed! It's bannable still! Your mother is noob! Learn to play, dog shit. Cuando iba saliendo de mi casa ya me estaban esperando. Es Go die to Ash. Estos pacos culiaos hijos de la Maldonado. Brom, I hope I scream. I do not speak pig language. <laughs> so is it. <laughs> English. <laughs> Your mom gave birth to you, Zed. What an inter... Yikes. You weed out bastard. That's how your mom calling you for dinner. <laughs> Your mom is under my table, by the way. Please, the shit. <laughs> you know why? <laughs> she is doing it good here. Your sister did not, so I killed her. Same useless as you. Corriendo a comer asado y a chupar culo como condenado y me toca. <laughs> Why you give me your mother number? I have it already. And then don't think about what happened. Well played, Ash. You are a thousand times better. Then Z player. For the Brom, who was such a gentleman, I'm gonna add a little bit of red to my painting. Enough playing around. Time to get busy.
Oh my god, it's beautiful. I call this piece the Ash Experience. Now, let's review the most important lesson we learned today. Guys, becoming the kite genius is a journey, and the most valuable of it all is the friends we are, people we meet along the way. If you guys want to support my channel, I'll be selling this piece for $1 million. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Riot! Riot! Riot!